Hi everybody, it's Lauren Brown, also known as Raggedy Royal on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and now YouTube. And it is time for my favorite holiday, other than my birthday, Valentine's Day. So I love making these lip combo videos because... I have a lot of different combinations to show you. And honestly, because y'all have a great reaction to them and always say, oh, like, thank you, blah, blah, blah. So I'm here with another one. Today, we are doing this hot pink lip just in time for the day of love. I'm super excited. We're going to go through what color to put where, why, what's a cupid's bow, how to highlight it, all of the things. Please make sure you give this video a like if you learn anything along the way. And subscribe down below if you want to, you know, see more videos like this i already did my eyes they are in a separate video so if you want to know how i did these heart airbrush eyes inspired by stins on instagram and tiktok they will be in another video let's get right into today's video so i have done a red lip i have done a red glossy lip i have done a purple burgundy glossy lip i've done a nude lip today we're doing this pink lip so first steps first look at look how sad my highlighter is if Anyone from ColourPop is watching this, please, please. This is a ColourPop, this was the ColourPop Super Shock Cheap Highlighter in Happy Thoughts. I'm going to take it on my finger. You can use a brush. You don't have to. And I'm going to apply right on my cupid's bow. Where is your cupid's bow? That V at the top. That's where the two sides of your lips meet. I'm going to add this right to my cupid's bow. While highlighting the cupid's bow will help us when we add some definition and really accentuate the shape of the lip. Now, I'm going to go in with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense Liner. Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Look at this. I have sharp, like, this is this is the hole. This is it. I have sharpened it down to this point. I can't even see the name on it anymore. I'm going to put it on the screen. First, we're going to line the lips. Right? So I'm going underneath the bottom lip first. I like to start in the corner here. And go all the way to the other side. The bottom lip is easy because you don't have to really worry about two sides. It's one full lip. There's not a cupid's bow breaking it up. Top lip. I do one one side at a time. We start with the right side. I'm just gonna add a little bit to fill in that part that I overlined. I'm gonna do the other side. As you can see, I am slightly overlining my lips. Not because I'm like, oh my gosh, I want my lips to be bigger or anything like that. I just want them to be more shapely. I really want to not even be more shapely. I want to accentuate the shape that I already have on my lips. Because sometimes you add lipsticks, that can get lost. So that is why I use multiple products. And it's also why I'm going slightly over my lip line. And I want to fill that in just a smidgen as well. Really covering up that highlighter. And then I'm going to fill in on the very bottom. So that it's all straight. So I filled it on the bottom so that it's all straight. Also because we're adding the light pink in the middle just to ease up on the blending later when i do my lip combos i like them to look like an ombre i like it to all look blended and i want every single color that i add to have this moment sometimes it just looks like there's lip liner and then there's color and it doesn't look like there's a meshing and that's because you're not adding enough lip liner so that's why i'm co cover coloring in some of the brown here and some on the corners that's going to help me later with the blend we're going into the color rain liquid lipstick and pink panther happy black history month color rain is black owned and one of my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time liquid lipstick lines now i'm going to add this to the center of the lip like so like that Now, you can just, and hope for the best, with this blend right here, because brown doesn't really naturally blend into pink. I'm going to be taking a flat brush, and this is just Anastasia Beverly Hills A3 brush. You can take any flat brush. Actually, if it was a little bit thinner, then that would be even more preferred, because the thicker they are, the wider they are, a little bit harder to get on the lips. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to slowly blend.
and I'm really blending the brown into the lip. Hold on. We need some more brown. Hold on. Hold on. And I will say using a brown that is this shade or darker is best because you need something that's going to really combat that bright pink. If I use something that was a little bit more towards my skin tone, a little bit lighter brown, it's not really going to give that <clears throat> strong border to this lip. That's more brown. Now, if you've seen any of my other um, lipstick videos, you know that I prefer a liquid lipstick for a liner for this reason, because it's easier to reapply and do all the blending. But a lip liner works just as well. This Charlotte, lip, Charlotte Tilbury lip liner is doing its thing. Boom. There are three parts to every great ombre. You have your liner shade. So what you're lining the lips with, what's going to add that contrast and that dark shade that brings definition to the lips. The, the lip shade that accentuates your lip shape, right? Then you have your filler shade. Now that's what's the boom, boom, pow. That would be this hot pink. And then you have your highlighter shade. Some people use concealer for this step. That's hit or miss. That's hit or miss. I like to use the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. It's technically a liquid eyeshadow. I don't get too caught up in titles, you know what I mean? Use it for what you need to use it for. And I'm going to add that right to the center of the lips. Now, why do you add that light color to the center of the lips? That is because that is your highlight shade. Now, just like highlights and contours in your face makeup or, you know, inner corner highlights, usually you add highlights all over the face to where you want the eye to like where you want to attract the eye. If you look at your natural lip, there is darker colors around the perimeter and there is a lighter shade right in the middle. So when you do makeup, it's best if you don't know where to put a color to pick places that accentuate how your face normally is, how your face naturally is. Just like where you contour, if you look to the side before you put your makeup on, that's where your jawbone is. So you're following the natural shadows and highlights of your face and you're doing the same thing on your lips. So where I want to track the eye is to the center of my lips here. So that's why I add that highlight shade right in the middle. And you can use your brush and tap that out. Or you can, because it's just a little bit in the center of the lip. And that is your hot pink lip. I will also add gloss so you can see how it looks. But that is all for this lip. You can try it out for Valentine's Day or any time of year where you happen to be watching this. Okay, so here is a lip with gloss. Honestly, there wasn't really even a step to this. All I did was take my Supply Store lip gloss. This is the Ruby Kiss Jelly Lips lip gloss. I opened it up, I squeezed some gloss out, and I just went along the lips. Beware of what type of lipstick you're using. So with liquid lipsticks, they don't usually smudge and smear and move around because your lips will be kind of dry. You're not gonna have all that movement underneath your gloss. However, just take note on what type of gloss you're wearing and what type of lipstick you're wearing because sometimes they can like get really coagulated and mix weird underneath the gloss. But usually that's not even an issue just like today. All I did was add gloss. That's literally it. I didn't use a brush. I didn't do anything like that. Gloss can be a very, very good tip and helpful for those of you who are not used to wearing liquid lipsticks and having that dryness on your lips if that irritates you, but you still wanna go for the color. So wanna go for the look. You can always add gloss on top. You can also use more comfortable wear lipsticks, so lipsticks that are not as matte. You can use cream lipsticks and still do the color ombre. Just beware. The con of the liquid lipsticks is that they may feel dry. The pro is that it's not gonna slide around, it's not gonna move. Once you put it on there, it's kinda locked in, so you have that insurance. As you move from more matte lipsticks to more comfortable wear lipsticks, more cream lipsticks, lipsticks like that, the pro is that it's more comfortable wear. The con is that it may slide around, it's gonna move. If you're worried about getting gloss on your teeth, lipstick on your teeth, you're gonna take your finger, 
put it in your mouth, that's gonna get all that gloss off this part of your mouth. And that's usually where the uh, lipstick transfers to the teeth, where the gloss transfers to the teeth, because it's right there on that part of the mouth. You wipe your finger off and you go about your day. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you wanna see more of my lip combos, I have a whole playlist for those. I have red, nude, vampy, check them out. If you want to see other lip combos, please let me know down below what combinations you want to see next. I like making these lip combo videos. Have a great Valentine's Day. Once again, if you want to know how I did these eyes, there is a video on that. I have a whole Valentine's makeup series. I did a lot of tutorials last year for Valentine's Day. So check that out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Stick around. I do a whole bunch of other types of tutorials, videos, everything you want to see on my face, eyeshadow, uh, blush, 101, how to do your waterline, how to apply fake lashes. I have videos on it all. And we're working towards 50,000 subscribers. So that's super excited. If you want to see more of me or if you want to try this lip out and tag me somewhere, tag me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, all at Raggedy World, the same way that it's spelled here. And you can also go there to see more of my looks. Also, the short stab. I'll be posting looks in the short stab. You can go there to see more of my looks and my life. I do a lot of cool stuff. I have a bucket list series on TikTok where I've tried activities, challenges, foods, cuisines, jumping out of plane, doing a triathlon, seeing Beyonce live, uh, just went to Bucky's recently. That was freaky. Um, so many things. So go check me out on my other socials and I'll see you in the next video.